Wow. But that's an interesting uh, observation, I would say. Thank you. Okay. Well, the subject of sun signs is evergreen and how handy a book like this to have to understand people around us and who come into our lives. While this may not be a biography of them, it gives, a, gives us an insight to a great extent. What are your views on this? Uh, you know, if you need to make new cuisine, new food that you haven't tried, let's say Lebanese food, Italian food, French food, you need a recipe book. Mm -hmm. right. You refer to a recipe online, you watch a video on YouTube. Right. This kind of a book becomes a guide in a similar way uh, to understanding people, their personality, uh, their behavior patterns. Uh, it allows you to know or what to expect, what not to expect. Um, if you already are in a relationship and you already know the person well, uh, this right. is across the board. When I say relationship, it could be between two brothers. It mm. could be between a father and a son or a daughter and a mother or a daughter and a father. Uh, mm. It could be uh, between two sisters. Uh, understanding each other uh, mm. is the key to uh, any relationship. You know, the right. uh, sub uh, subtext of my book says, fun way to understand people, strike right. great conversations and build joyful relationships, minus the astrology jargon. Right. So that's, that's the key really. So I guess the, uh, the underlining uh, uh, theme behind the book uh, is to help people understand themselves and their loved ones better. I think that's really great. And I'm really thrilled to read your book. I'm really intrigued. I really want to know about different sun signs and know their behavior, their personalities. And uh, today you've given us a great insight about a lot of zodiacs in terms of men and women both. And with that, we are moving on to our next round, which we call is our throwback round. Now, the reason why we do that is, we say that throwback round is because I'm going to say a word to you and you will throw back one or more sun signs under each gender for that word. Oh, okay, sure. Let me see how, how good I can be at this. Great. Are we good to go? Yes. Great. The first one, loyal. Taurus. <laughs> okay, Great. so let me start with women. Yeah, so I'll, I'll define it by gender, women and men. Uh, first to please you, not to please you, but it is, it is the truth. Uh, loyal. Um, for women, it would be Taurus, Sagittarius, Virgo, uh, I think I'll stop there because I have known a lot of people who haven't been loyal. <laughs> so, and for men, it would be most, if not all, Aries, Taurus, and Leo. I, I just made a mental note of it. Okay. <laughs> all right. The next one, flirtatious. Flirtatious. Wow. For women, it would be Capricorn in a very subtle way. Uh, Scorpio in a very mixed, subtle and a very direct way. Uh, Gemini uh, women. Sagittarius women. Uh, for men, I think all. I mean, <laughs> all. Irrespective <laughs> of the sun sign. Yes, yeah, so I think all 12. That was a good one. Yes. Great. The next word is promiscuous. Ouch. That's a very, Ouch. very difficult word to give an explanation for based on sun signs. Also, it is not fair, uh, in all honesty, to uh, uh, pinpoint fingers at somebody and say that this particular sun sign in general is mm -hmm. like that. Um, it is a very personal choice that somebody may make out of right. need uh, or out of um, desperation or choice or whatever. And I don't think we are anybody to judge anybody uh, on, on a subject like that. 
So instead of labeling the entire clan of a particular sun sign, I would just say let people be. Uh, I'm not saying it's right or wrong. Again, it's you know it's not my place to judge, nor is your place to judge. Uh, but just let people be. Next point. Daring. Daring. Yes. Aries women, Leo, okay. Sagittarius, and Virgo women. Okay. Uh, Aries men, Taurus, okay. Capricorn, and Scorpio men. Okay. Great. The next one coming up, controversial. Controversial. I think Scorpio scores highest, but okay. <laughs> uh, so Scorpio, Sagittarius, mm -hmm. Leo, mm -hmm. and these are men or women? It is women. Okay. Uh, because they create a lot of controversies because they are too bold and too direct at times. Uh, controversial men would be Capricorn men because you know they sometimes put their foot in their mouth. <laughs> I see men because, you know, I've known some of them to be really nasty liars and, uh, you know, charming to get what they want and then they, you know, turn out to be different men. Not all of them, but, you know, I've met some of them. Okay. And uh, Virgo men also are known to be quite controversial. You'll be surprised that, uh, uh, you know, Virgo and Libra uh, audio chapters on YouTube have had the highest viewings and you know uh, audio listening. Uh, I think over forty-five thousand or forty-eight thousand under each of these chapters, uh, while the rest could be about fifteen thousand, twenty thousand, thirty thousand. So the most complicated and controversial sun signs right. uh, could be. So I haven't said Libra yet, but uh, uh, Libra men are uh, you know charming and suave in their own style, so they don't come across controversial. Uh, but uh, I could add Libra man here, yeah. To a certain extent. Yeah, to a certain extent, yeah. Otherwise, Great. they're quite honest and straightforward, yeah. I guess so, yes, right. The next one is emotional. Should have been all women here, all 12 sun signs, but uh, that's not really yes. necessarily true, but not necessarily true. So emotional uh, cancer women are the most emotional. Okay. Uh, Pisces women, mm -hmm. Scorpio women, and Capricorn women. For men, emotional uh, Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, and Cancerian. Okay. Uh, the next one is headstrong. Taurus women, <laughs> Scorpio women, Leo and Aries. Uh, men, Virgo, Libra, Sagittarius, and Aries. Almost in that order. Wow. Great. Uh, risky. Did I hear whiskey? It's all dry here. There's no Daru available. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's the same everywhere. Yeah. yeah. So, risky, I don't really know how to categorize sun signs under risky. So, um it's 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 something you you know do and learn so uh, i think everybody is risky in that form it all depends on what you're wanting and what you're looking for uh, looking out for versus what you get so i think we'll uh, skip the sun signs categorization under risky yeah i think at some or the other point every sun sign would take certain risk true every individual would yeah okay focused Focused. Uh, I know I'm sounding like I'm being biased towards uh, Capricorn and Gemini women, but I have, this is again my observation. So Capricorn women, Gemini women, Aquarius women, again Capricorn men, Taurus men, uh, Virgo men, and uh, I think that's it. I think the rest of them are quite... Uh, you know, uh, having fun and doing everything else, but I've not seen too much of focus. Uh, some Cancerian men, when they are, you know, determined to work hard and, you know, make it big in life, I've seen that they are focused. 
Okay, the next one is detached. Detached. Hmm. Aquarius women, okay. some Libra women, okay. and some Sagittarius women. Okay. Uh, for men, again, Capricorn, Pisces to a great extent, Virgo again to a great extent, and uh, Scorpio. Okay. The next word is patient. Patient, uh, Capricorn and Libra women. Uh, for men, Aquarius, some Gemini men, and Libra men. Yeah. Okay. The last word for this co background stunning personalities. So this is all for my Capricorn friends. Uh, so Capricorn <laughs> women, Pisces is a long list of women actually when you think about stunning personalities because uh, you see them on screen, you've seen actresses, you've seen models, mm -hmm. I've seen real life people. Uh, so a compilation of that would be Capricorn women, Pisces, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Libra, I think some of them are really beautiful looking Libra women. Scorpio, again, very stunning. And Sagittarius women, yes. And for men, uh, again, I think I'm sounding biased towards Capricorn men. I have no idea why, but Capricorn, uh, Aries, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. Okay, that's a long list. I think everybody is stunning in their own way. There are certain you know, parts about their personality or factors about your personality that would that make you stunning in some way or the other. Absolutely, absolutely. So these, this is just a question you asked me and uh, off the cuff, you know, to give you a quick answer right. of people that come to my mind and, you know, personalities that come to my mind. Uh, uh, but other than that, I'm sure uh, what you said is absolutely right. But, well, after knowing so much in your book and sun signs, we're all, what's your sun sign, Chetan? I'm an Aries. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wow. So we you haven't... Think, within the answers that I gave you, Aries, Aries, couple of places, but yes. uh, but I'm not being biased. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not very sure that I like most of the Aries. I, I'm not even sure if I like most of the Aries men that I have met. Uh, barring, <laughs> a few, barring for a few few friends I have, uh, I, I find mm -hmm. I find some of them very difficult to deal with. So yeah, mm -hmm. so I've never been biased about it. And uh, even uh, either most of the zodiac sign or sun sign books start with Aries as a chapter. Um, I've started my book with the first month of the year, sort of. So I started the book with Capricorn women and then Capricorn men and then ends with Sagittarius. Wow. So I hope that answers your question. Absolutely. I think everybody wanted to know that about you. And with that, we're almost at the end of our show today. We really had a lot of fun interacting with you today, knowing interesting things about sun signs. And thank you once again for all coming to our show, Chetan. We had a great time. Thank you. It was a lot of fun, although it's late in the night in Mumbai, but it's a lot of fun. And I'm sure uh, uh, people who are interested in sun signs and knowing more about people and their behaviors uh, will enjoy uh, a topic like that. And thank you for uh, making this happen. Uh, Dia, Arun, Shivani, and the entire team at the Story Club. Thank you. And to all our lovely viewers, a Story Club Live happens every Saturday at 9.30 p.m. IST. 9 a.m. PDT and 12 noon EDT. Please follow our founder, Arun Bhagwati, and our co founder, Shivan Bilal, on Facebook and Instagram, and your host, Bia Bahu Balindra. Signing out, stay home and stay safe from a story club to all of you around the world. Love you all. Bye, and we'll see you, you next Saturday. Thank you, Chetan. This was my first Saturday Night Live, and I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you, everybody.
Cheers. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Bye.